Hello everyone. My name is Kyle Shields. I'm a technical account manager at AWS. Today I will be covering how Amazon GuardDuty now provides support for malware scanning of Amazon Elastic Block Storage, EBS volumes, encrypted with AWS managed keys. If you're not familiar with the service, Amazon GuardDuty is an intelligent threat detection service that uses machine learning, anomaly detection, and integrated threat intelligence to identify and prioritize potential threats. Using various data sources and activity within your account, Amazon GuardDuty generates findings when a potential threat is found. Amazon GuardDuty offers protection to your simple storage service, S3 data, Elastic Kubernetes service, EKS workloads, Relational Database Service, RDS Workloads, and Lambda Functions. Also Runtime Monitoring for Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, Elastic Container Service, ECS, and EKS. And finally, Malware Protection to your EBS Volumes. In today's video, we'll talk about what is Amazon GuardDuty Malware Protection, what the new feature is, how you can enable the malware scanning service while showcasing a demo of the new feature. GuardDuty Malware Protection helps you detect the potential presence of malware by scanning Amazon EBS volumes attached to your Amazon EC2 instances and container workloads. Malware Protection offers two types of agentless scans to detect potentially malicious activity. There's GuardDuty initiated malware scans and on-demand malware scans. As a response to an on-demand or GuardDuty initiated malware scan, GuardDuty creates snapshots of the relevant EBS volumes attached to the potentially impacted resource and shares them with the GuardDuty service account. From these snapshots, GuardDuty creates an encrypted replica EBS volume in the service account to perform the scan. You have the option to retain the EBS snapshot if malware is detected on the volume. So what is the new feature? Amazon GuardDuty Malware Protection can now scan Amazon EBS volumes that are encrypted with EBS managed keys attached to EC2 instances and container workloads. In addition to unencrypted EBS volumes and volumes encrypted with AWS Key Management Service or KMS customer managed keys, allowing you the flexibility to decide your encryption requirements while maintaining malware detection capabilities. Let's walk through the setup of Amazon GuardDuty, GuardDuty Malware Protection, then view some completed malware scans and the data within them, and run an on-demand scan of an EC2 instance with an EBS volume encrypted with an AWS managed key and customer managed key. Now that we're in the console, we'll enable Amazon GuardDuty in a fresh standalone account. Up here in the search bar, feel free to start by typing Guard Duty. Click on the services icon, and this will take you to the Amazon Guard Duty services page. Now, if you haven't already enabled Amazon Guard Duty, you get a 30 day free trial to evaluate the threat detection capabilities. So go ahead and click on get started. It's a very simple process. So you can read a little bit about the service permissions that are granted and the protection plans that are available. <clears throat> and if you're part of an AWS organization, you can make that account the delegated administrator account for Amazon and GuardDuty. But since this is a standalone account, we'll just hit enable GuardDuty. Now that's gonna take a few minutes in the background while GuardDuty gets configured and does some things in the background. So we'll go ahead and switch over to another account where Amazon GuardDuty has been running for a while with resources already built out. Now that we're in an AWS account where GuardDuty has already been turned on and configured for some time, we'll go ahead and check a few things out. So first I wanna show you how the GuardDuty initiated malware scanning feature is enabled by default and also where you can find the on-demand malware scan feature. In the menu selection on the left-hand side where it says malware protection, go ahead and click on that. This takes you to a page where you can see GuardDuty initiated malware scans. Now this feature is enabled by default when you enable GuardDuty. And immediately below that, the on-demand malware scan feature is available for use. All you have to do is 
plug in the EC2 instance, Amazon resource name. Second, I want to show you what a guard duty initiated scan looks like, where to find it, and these are from EC2 instances with vulnerabilities which are pre-installed. So again, in the menu on the left-hand side under malware scans, feel free to click that. Okay, so here we have our malware scan. So you can see a few have already been ran. The results are all clean. Some are on demand. Some are guard duty initiated from EC2 instances that I stood up some time ago. So if you click the radio button on any one of them, it'll give you a lot of good pertinent information about the scan, such as the overview, the invoked by, affected resource, the start and end time of the scan, and the attached volumes list for future reference in case malware was found on the volume. Okay, so last, we'll scan two EC2 machines, both having encrypted EBS volumes, one with the AWS managed key and the other with a customer managed key. And I want you to observe how seamless this activity is. So we'll go back to the malware protection menu item. And I've already written out the ARNs of both EC2 machines. So this first ARN will be one with an encrypted EBS volume encrypted with an AWS managed key. You just click start scan and it'll let you know you have successfully initiated an on-demand malware scan with ID. And then I'll immediately go down to the next one. This EC2 instance has an EBS volume which is encrypted with a KMS CMK. So a different method for encrypting the volumes. Both of those are done. You can go back up and visualize them under the malware scans menu item. Okay, you can see at the very top there, both of those scans are running. And again, the information will come up on the right-hand side of the screen, such as overview, invoked by, affected resource, time, and attached volumes list. So that's it. We've enabled Amazon Guard Duty malware protection and conducted an on-demand malware scan of EC2 instances with encrypted EBS volumes, one encrypted with an Amazon managed key and one with a customer managed key. In this video, we looked at a high-level overview of Amazon Guard Duty and discussed the malware protection feature and the capability to scan an EBS volume encrypted with an AWS managed key. In the AWS console, we went through a demo to enable Amazon Guard Duty and the malware scanning feature. Lastly, I demonstrated how to perform an on-demand malware scan of EC2 instances with encrypted EBS volumes. Thank you for your time.